Hey y'all, RGT here. And if there's one thing about me that you know from watching this channel, you would know that I'm a cheap person. I don't like paying full price for anything. I don't like paying for anything, but of course you have to pay for stuff in life. But when it comes to video games, I'm always looking out for the deals, talking about eShop sales videos. Some people think that they're mindless dribble, and I mean, maybe to some extent they are, but I just want people to save money and pick up some quality games. And right now, as of the time of the filming of this video, GameStop is having a huge pre-Black Friday deal on a lot of Nintendo Switch games, including first party titles that may honestly be better than their actual Black Friday deal so I want to bring these games to your guys's attention go ahead and beat the rush pick up these games now you get them in store or online with most of the games so we're gonna go over this list of games make sure you if you are new to the channel you hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications so that you're not missing out on videos like this like I said your mileage may vary because at the time of the filming of this video all of these games are on sale these prices are indicative of all of these games but without any further ado let's just get into the list of games so the following games are available for $26.99, and here's the kicker. All of these games are first-party Nintendo Switch games, meaning Nintendo published games are on the Switch for $26.99 via GameStop, either on the website or in-store. The games are as follows. We have Astral Chain, Fire Emblem, Three Houses, Kirby Star Allies, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, Paper Mario The Origami King, Splatoon 2, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, out of all of these titles, Astral Chain is the only one where you can only buy it digitally. And what do I mean by buy it digitally? Obviously, you're not going to the Nintendo Switch eShop and just purchasing the game. You actually buy the download code via GameStop's website, they send it to you in an email, and then you can download the game. But these games are only $26.99, and this is by far the the cheapest I really think that they have ever been I know I've never seen Astral Chain for $26.99 and I know I've never seen Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for that cheap either now these games will be available at select retailers on Black Friday for $39.99 as a part of Nintendo's first party program that they are doing for Black Friday along with the Nintendo Switch bundle that of course includes Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and a three-month trial of Nintendo Switch online service but these prices are ridiculous and these are new prices this isn't pre-owned stuff these are new prices now, out of the games on this list, honestly, I, I recommend all of them. Paper Mario, The Origami King, that should be a no-brainer. If you've had interest in this game and you haven't picked it up yet, for $26.99, it's an absolute steal. It was a criminally underrated game in 2020. It kind of came and went. Not a whole lot of people talked about it, but I thought it was fantastic. The writing is fantastic as well. Yes, the battle and the XP system can definitely be debated as, well, you don't really have to do the battles in order to level up because of the way that leveling up works in the game but still i think it's a fantastic experience and you know what because of this sale list i'm gonna pick up xenoblade chronicles definitive edition i did not want to pay the full price for that game i've already bought it on the wii i've already bought it on 3ds i don't need to buy this game again but i am interested to see the enhanced visuals on this game and for 26.99 like i said that is something that i will take the plunge on now like i said the list is as follows once again astral chain Fire Emblem Three Houses, Kirby Star Allies, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, Paper Mario The Origami King, Splatoon 2, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, if you just want to get the digital codes, like I said, you can buy them from GameStop's website. So those are the main games that everyone is talking about because those are the first party games available during this sale. And really, I mean, you can't go wrong with any of these, like even, you know, under $30 for New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, while I'm not a huge fan of that game like I would have paid $30 for it new and I would have been fine I think my price point was like $40 for that game I didn't really see it as a $60 title which I mean a lot of people got mad at me but hey I mean what else is new but beyond these games there's actually a lot more games that are going on in this sale right now pre Black Friday that I think you guys need to be aware of as well the first game on the list is NBA 2K 2022 coming in at $25.99 for the physical edition of this game. Yes, you do have to download most of the game, but if you're a hoops fan and you're a basketball fan and you want the latest version of NBA 2K, this is a great deal. I paid $60 for it on day one when it came out, and honestly, unlike 2K21, I was not disappointed with this game. The shot stick mechanics are much better. The defense feels a little bit tighter as well. It just feels like an overall better game. I really felt like 2K 
2021 was definitely a bit of a step back for the franchise, whereas this is definitely a much better basketball experience. So $25.99, you can pick this up in store or online on GameStop's website. The next game is Sonic Colors Ultimate Edition coming in at $19.99. Now this game released at $40 and it had a very buggy launch like we're seeing with a lot of games lately. Is it because companies are getting lazy or is it because of COVID is pressuring people into putting out games before they're really ready? Who's to say? But this game has gotten some patches on it on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure how well the Switch version of the game is running yet. So this is kind of a wild card. But if you guys in the comments can let other people know, because I'm going to pick this up for 20 bucks. It comes with a big box edition. There's like some extra goodies you get with it as well. For 20 bucks, I'm willing to check it out and, you know, keep my expectations in line. But let others in the comment section know if this game has been patched and if it is indeed running better. The next game on the list is Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania and anniversary 1999 as well this is the deluxe edition once again the big box edition comes with a ton of super monkey ball levels in it and i mean it, it's super monkey ball like there's a monkey and ball like that's cool that's cool of course there's other characters you can unlock you can unlock like sonic and a sega saturn in the game as well and inside of a ball and roll it around but it's a really fun a very addictive game and of course now with it's like a huge compilation of the original games that came out during the gamecube era very popular games and very successful games the next game on the list is the outer worlds coming in at 1999 for a physical copy when this game launched it was kind of rough but the gameplay was still there i still played it for like 30 hours and did one run through with the game and yes the visuals were definitely lagging but the gameplay was so damn good because there's not really a traditional fallout style game on the nintendo switch and that's essentially what this game is now there have been subsequent updates to this game and the visuals are a hell of a lot better than they were originally so if you haven't picked up the outer worlds this is also the cheapest i believe it's ever been even on eShop sales i believe the cheapest it was on an eShop shell was 23.99 so 19.99 you could pick this up on GameStop's website or in store and there's one other game to look out for because this game is actually sold out on the website but if you could find it in stores it will be $19.99 and hopefully they'll be able to get some more copies of this game is because I would be willing to pick up this game and that is Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl coming in at $19.99 obviously this game was a Smash Brothers inspired game with Nickelodeon characters has rollback netcode it came out at $50 like really a couple weeks ago I think it launched in October if I'm not wrong maybe it was September but it hasn't been out for very long and to see this game already discounted to 1999 I mean I think a lot of people are willing to pick it up at that price point like I said it is sold out on the website but if you go in store you might be able to find a copy for 1999 or they might update the website and include this game if they get some more copies of the game and so definitely something to keep your eye on Alrighty, so those are the pre-Black Friday sales going on on GameStop right now via both their website and in store. A lot of good sales here, a lot of good games to have on your radar, a lot of games that I'm honestly interested in. I believe I'm going to pick up Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition and Sonic Colors Ultimate because, I mean, these are two games that I am interested in. I just didn't want to pay full price for them. And of course, Sonic Colors, you know, it had all those issues at launch, but it still has that damn good theme song. The Sonic feels alright, the colors feel alright. Like, that song freaking bops i'm gonna actually listen to that while i edit this video but let me know in the comment section down below what games you plan on picking up if you know something about these games that maybe i wasn't quite sure of let others in the comment section know give them their recommendations too and as always guys thank you for checking out these videos be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you are new to the channel i'll be covering all the black friday shenanigans that i can find for you guys and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later